The movement of foreign exchange cannot be left to chance, to whim, or to caprice, since access to foreign exchange is the means by which we protect both our quality of life and our standard of living. Now, nothing which I have said on this matter is intended to suggest that there is any justification for unnecessary obstacles being placed in the way of the private sector by the agencies named. Facilitation and the improvement of our competitiveness are non-negotiable commitments of the government of Barbados. The second issue on which we have a settled understanding in Barbados is our fixed exchange rate in relation to the US dollar. We took this decision back in 1975 after delinking from the pound sterling. For the last 40 years, we have defended this exchange rate with all the vigor at our command. We have done so because in good times and in bad, this exchange rate has served us well. Those who blithely and glibly argue that our currency is overvalued have not been able to show us how devaluation has improved spectacularly the situation of those of our neighbors who have pursued that course. I've certainly heard no argument credible enough to persuade me that it is a course of action to which we should have resort. Devaluation, as I understand it, is supposed to be a policy response to a chronic disequilibrium in a country's balance of payments position. Its rationale is to correct that chronic imbalance by making imports more expensive and exports cheaper. Resort to it, however, is not without risk or peril, as the venerable economist Arthur Lewis so discerningly observed. He reminds us that, and I quote, devaluation raises the cost of imports and therefore the cost of living. This provokes demands for higher wages and other incomes. If these are granted, part or all of the devaluation will have been canceled out by the increase of domestic costs. One devalues if costs are out of line in export industries. For the alternative, a wages subsidy is too costly for the budget. There is no point in devaluing unless this will increase the volume of exports. So the elasticity of supply of exports and the elasticity of world demand are the two factors which determine whether a country should devalue or apply import controls instead." Unquote. This argument is as valid today as it was when first expressed. The passage of time and personalities has done nothing to sully the freshness of that piece of analytical rigor. Against the background of that kind of understanding, it is clear that objective conditions in Barbados today do not justify any tampering with our exchange rate. The government over which I preside will, through its policy choices, continue to make the preservation of that exchange rate a matter of continuing priority. <laughs>